This Caliban Living segment is sponsored by Breadsmith of Sioux Falls, specializing in handcrafted European style artisan breads made in the tradition of old world master bakers. Even if you aren't a college basketball fan, there is simply no way to avoid March Madness. And if you aren't a college basketball fan, it's really hard to understand what all the hype is about. Am I right? Well, our next guest has managed to get our attention and our interest by creating a tournament bracket that you can really sink your teeth into. Susie Patrick is the owner of Breadsmith of Sioux Falls, and she figured even if you don't like basketball brackets, you're going to love bread brackets. It's being billed as a truly artisan tournament and she's here to tell us more about it. Welcome. Thank you. I can get into a bread bracket. <laughs> okay. I really can, Good. I really Good. can. I feel like this is my wheelhouse. So how did you come up with the idea? So I am a true March Madness basketball fan. So I've for years and years have followed um, the NCAA tournament and every year I think, oh, that would be so fun to do some kind of bracket and see what breads would win. And so this year we did it. So let's start at the beginning with the overall. I mean, you had to pick who was going to play. You say play, play who, the games. Who's mm -hmm. going to play the game. And you had some surprising upsets, I think. We did. We started with 16 breads um, and we kind of started with our daily breads. Um, there are 12 breads that we make every day. So we picked the top um, eight of those and then we paired them with our calendar breads, which are breads that are just made once or twice a month. Um, and some of the results were surprising. We, we kind of predicted which ones were gonna win and the ones that have been coming out on top are our daily breads, okay. which to me is a little surprising, but it really goes to show you that um, what we do day in and day out is make a bread for everybody with no additives, no preservatives that you can eat all the time. And those staples are what stay with people. Right. It's For fun sure. to get some of the different ones and try different things, but those staples really yeah. stick with you. Okay, so you have here today some breads. Um, what was, what's been the most surprising upset, do you think? Probably the most surprising upset was when pumpkin lost. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so is that the, is this, this the is, pumpkin? This is the pumpkin, um, and when we get into the fall season, it is by far our best seller. Mm -hmm. um, but again, day in and day out, it's the honey wheats and the honey whites that um, that do well. Okay, can I try this one? Yes, okay. absolutely. So this is the part of the segment where you're gonna have to carry it while I just okay, eat. Perfect. Okay, perfect, thank okay. you. <laughs> so, so this is our pumpkin bread. Okay. Like I said, very popular in the fall. Um, we make a lot of pumpkin bread, which is why we brought it back for the bracket because mm -hmm. we wanted to see how it would do stacked up against um, some of the breads that we make all year long. So this one played against which one? Oh, that's a good question. Oh. It doesn't I, matter, yep. I can see why. We're, so we're into things. the final four, so mm -hmm. we reduced it to the final four. So our four that are playing Today and tomorrow, we have one game today, which is honey wheat and cinnamon cobblestone. Okay. Um, and I did bring those two, and we can try the cinnamon cobblestone later. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then tomorrow, um, it'll be honey white and honey oat bran. So you'll see, like, those are two breads that we make week in and week out. Mm -hmm. The pumpkin is not up there anymore. Oh. So, but I did, I mean, I mean, so you were yet. like, okay, can I try this one? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Let's so this do that. is one of the ones that's playing today. This is cinnamon cobblestone. This is playing today. So we make cinnamon cobblestone every day. Um, this is probably one of my all-time favorite breads that we make. It is that monkey bread, um, just kind of just the right amount of ooey gooey yumminess. <laughs> Just a little drizzle of the frosting. Yeah, I I'm mean, living you my can. Best life right now. This is really, really good. I'm like, okay. Yep. I and love it's this. just got that little drizzle of sweet. So, yeah, we make cinnamon cobblestone every day. What? The thing I'm getting from this that I mean, I've had cinnamon rolls and cinnamon breads plenty of times, right? Somehow this managed to capture like the the dough, like the. I don't know how I'm even trying to explain it, that that smell that fills up a bread store and wherever you have dough or you're baking, right. somehow it's encapsulated in the actual oh, taste. Thank you. I don't know how you did that, but I'm gonna keep eating it. I mean, I do think that, you know, our process of no additives, no preservatives, um, handmade from scratch, you know, every day we start really early in the morning with um, a bucket of water and a bag of flour and some salt and yeast. And then when we get to a cinnamon cobblestone, we add the highest quality cinnamon. Um, when we get to pumpkin, we add the pumpkin, but all of our breads really start with those four main ingredients. Um, of our daily lineup, we have very few that have butter, eggs, or sugar. Um, there are a few, but really, really we're like healthy. It's a healthy bread. You know, um, I, so I've spent some time traveling like in Europe and in France, and 
they literally think that Americans are crazy for trying to get bread out of their diet. They're like, it's, right. how, it's how we stay f healthy right. and how we stay right. thin. Like, right. French women eat a lot of bread, right. but it's made from all fresh ingredients Correct. done like this. Correct. And that's why it's so good. So we call this a healthy carb. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so glad it's healthy because I'm going to keep going. <laughs> Who is the matchup for tomorrow again? Tomorrow is honey white and this honey is... oat. Now that's kind of like the USD versus SDSU, right? Because it's like you're either on the side of the white or the oat. Uh, totally. Who do you think's going to win? I don't know. You don't know. Okay. I think it's a total toss up. I, I really do. It's so amazing. You have this bread here mm -hmm. to some dough. What do mm -hmm. you want to tell me about? Like, what can you? Well, I thought if we wanted to, we mm -hmm. could talk a little bit about our process. You know, I said handmade mm -hmm. hearth bake. Yeah. So this is the handmade portion of what we do. Um, after the bread has risen mm -hmm. each day, we dump it onto a um, wooden bench, and then we actually hand shape it and knead it. So, you know, I've been doing this for 25 years. We're celebrating our 25th anniversary this year, and so it's kind of like, old, like riding a bike for me. But what we're doing every day with Every loaf, we cut it and weigh it to a weight, and then we shape it into a bowl that then goes right into our oven on a stone hearth. Um, and we bake it on the stone hearth just like they do in Europe. It's a European oven that we brought over from France. Okay, show so. it to me one more time while I keep eating this, because these are like, <laughs> I'm really into bread making, actually, so this is like my, I'm just... So then, you lessons. know, we also make a loaf style. Yeah. Um, so then that one, we would shape more into a loaf. Um, and you know my moving cutting board here, um, but the loaf then gets shaped, and this is what people prefer for their toaster. They really like that loaf shape, mm -hmm. um, so it's easy to go in the toaster. It's easy to make a sandwich. The kids view it as um, normal bread, um, meaning it's you can get away with. It's not as you know it, it's very healthy, but the kids eat it eat because it, right. they love it. Yeah, you can put it. yeah. When, when my kids were growing up and all their friends would eat it, they all called it Susie bread. Susie bread. <laughs> I, gotta, I just want to come spend a whole day. Do you need extra help in the kitchen? Yeah, we do. We're hiring. Yeah, yeah you can that. Yeah, oh. for sure. <laughs> what, how can you vote for this now? Do you need to come in and try it? So the easy, uh, yeah, you can vote in store for sure. Um, we have whiteboards at all the stores and they're ta doing the hash marks and tally to kind of keep it exciting and let everybody know as they come into the store who's winning the bracket. Um, you can also go to our social media channels. So um, on our stories, we have the poll and you can just vote for which one you want. That's probably the easiest way. And I'm voting for this one. one. It's really it's good. good. Thank you so it's much. It's a good vote. Smith of Sioux Falls Artisan Tournament is still open, so let's get ready to crumble. You can find out more about the tournament by following their Facebook page, which is Smith of Sioux Falls. If you want to vote, you need to do that on their Instagram page, which is at breadsmith underscore SD. If you simply want to order a loaf of any one of the Breadsmith's tasty loaves, muffins, granola bars, special K bars, crostini, scones, brownies, or cookies, check out any one of their four locations in Sioux Falls. This Kellerlin Living segment has been sponsored by Breadsmith of Sioux Falls, specializing in handcrafted European-style artisan breads made in the tradition of old-world master bakers.